Convection is the second mode of heat transfer. Heat transfer by convection occurs as a result of movement of liquid or gas over a surface. Wind blowing against a building is an example of a gas moving over a surface. There are two types of convection, forced and natural. Natural convection occurs when the movement of liquid or gas is caused by density differences. For example, we're all aware that warm air rises. That's because it has a lower density than the surrounding cool air, and that's what causes a hot air balloon to rise. And of course we know the opposite is true. Cool air drops. In our wall example, the warm air inside the building comes in contact with the cool exterior wall. Some heat is lost to the wall, causing the interior air adjacent to the wall to cool. Since this air has a higher density, the air drops. The warmer exterior surface of the wall heats the air next to it, decreasing the air's density and causing it to rise. And as a result, the movement of the air along the surface of the wall increases the heat transfer. This type of heat transfer is called natural convection. This heating and cooling creates convection loops adjacent to both the interior and exterior surfaces. Convection can also take place inside of empty cavities. One example is the movement of air in a double-pane window. In winter, air is heated on the inside surface of the window cavity, causing the air to rise. The air adjacent to the outside surface cools and drops. What results is a convection loop inside the window cavity that transfers heat from the inside to the outside. A second type of convection is forced convection. Here the movement of the liquid or gas is caused by outside forces. If the wind is blowing, the air movement across the outside of the wall will be higher, increasing the rate of heat transfer. The rate of heat transfer by convection depends on the temperature difference, the velocity of the liquid or gas, and what kind of liquid or gas is involved. For example, heat transfers more quickly through water than through air.